ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. We are here in Lavender Town. Yo, what's up? That's quite a building, eh? It's Kanto's Radio Tower. Yes, the uh, radio station. Your best loved shows on air around the clock. Very, very controversial, this building. Uh, let's see if anyone in here will tell you what. Can you? Can I talk to you? Many people are hard at work in here in the radio tower. They must be doing their best to put on good shows. Uh, welcome. Feel free to look around anywhere on this floor. You... Oh, no, 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 no. We've been off the air ever since the power plant shut down. All my efforts to start this station would be wasted if I can't broadcast. I'll be ruined. What do you say, huh? Hey there, I'm the super music director. Huh? Your poker gig can't tune into my music shows. How unfortunate. If you upgrade it with this expansion card, you can tune in. You better get one. Well, what? Oh, yeah. I thought it said with this one. But yeah, the reason why this, this is very controversial is it replaced the Pokemon Tower, which was essentially a giant cemetery graveyard. Um, so not a lot of people are happy with this. Uh, they, you know, I think it's a video game, you know, whatever. But uh, here we have House of Memories. May Pokemon spirits rest easy. Uh, people come from all over to pay their respects to the spirits of Pokemon. Yes, they do, because in here you should find... Where is he? Mr. Fuji! Welcome! Hmm, you appear to be raising your Pokémon in a kind and loving manner. Those who love Pokémon come here to pay their respects to Pokémon. Please, uh, please pay homage to the spirits of Pokémon. I'm sure that will make them happy. What do you say, huh? The Pokémon that lived with me a long time ago. I didn't treat them as Pokémon. I loved them like my grandchildren. Oh. I came with my mom to visit the Pokémon resting places. There are other resting places of Pokémon here, I think. There are many chambers that only Mr. Fuji may enter. That seems kind of weird because there's like no way of getting in them unless you go underneath. Maybe? I don't know. That's kind of strange. Uh, but yeah, um, that's where all the Pokemon Graves move. This is the name rate tent. Not important. Cancer has many good radio shows, apparently. <laughs> yeah, the name rate tent is just exactly the same as the one in Goldenrod. Lavender is a tiny quiet town at the foot of the mountains. It's got quite a bit busier since the radio tower was built. It doesn't look busy to me. No Team Rocket hanging about, just saying. And you need a poker flute to wake sleeping Pokemon. Every trainer has to know that. And you say, Lavender Volunteer Pokemon House. And in here we find... Dun -dun -dun -dun. Mr. Fuji does live here, but he's away now. He should be at the House of Memories. Can you believe it? Some po uh, people get bored of taking care of Pokemon. Grandpa takes such poor, uh, takes in such poor homeless Pokemon and take care of them. So yeah, there's just some Pokemon dotted around here. And uh, that's pretty much it for Lavender Town. <laughs> Other than the po uh, people in the Pokemon Center who I didn't talk to. Uh, I'm going to quickly stock up on some supplies, though, since I've been meaning to do it for quite a while. Can I talk to you, please? Thank you. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I've been meaning to uh, do this for a while, but uh, I want to get, like, 20 Super Potions. I want to get a bunch of Hippo Potions as well. Like, maybe 34? Yeah. We have so much money ever since we did the, the whole, uh, whole uh, training up. Hugh thing. Anyway, now we are going to head uh, westward uh, back towards Saffron City. Uh, so there are gonna. Ooh, apricorn tree. Yay! I love apricorns. Apricorns. Ap ap apricots. Yeah, apricots. Uh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty pretty straightforward route. There's gonna be lots of trainers on here again, but uh, it's good to, good to train up. Would you care to join me in a quick contest? Depends on what your contest is about. Okay, it's probably just a Pokemon battle. Gentleman Milton sent out Growlithe. Ah, yes. Okay, so... Oh, no, that's alright. I was going to say, uh, we'll wait until Charlie levels up once before we swap him over for, uh, for Hugh. And I think that's what we're going to do, since he's literally about to level up. And that's... Oh, no. It's going to cause problems, because Intimidate. Okay, that's fine. Heat Wave, again, I prefer Heat Wave to uh, Flame Fire, just because it looks cooler. Um, the, literally the only reason why I used Heat Wave on my team in Heart Gold uh, before, like in my playthrough when the game came out, is because the move looks so freaking cool on Pokemon Battle Revolution. It's like uh, the, the wave of heat would sort of like shoot down towards the feet, uh, feet of the Pokemon and then just go up through their body and it just looks so cool. I was just like, okay, it may be only like 10% more powerful and it's only it's got like 15% less accuracy. But it looks so badass, and I want it. Okay, so Charlie is level 52, which is great. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna give Hugh the spotlight for a bit now. I mean, he he helped us out in a gym, and we trained him up a little bit more. But uh, other than that, he hasn't really been doing too much. So Hugh, out you come, buddy. And uh, how? Oh, sorry. Hugh, do you feel about this, huh? Ah, uh, you're looking around. Uh, Hugh is wandering around. That's great. Can we sneak by you? Yeah, we can. 
I'm, I'm, I'm not sort of going to be actively avoiding trainers, but it's just like a... I, I don't know, it's like, I, I don't want to fight them all at this point. <laughs> because we're alright now, we're alright for XP, you know, we got a good team set up. Uh, as long as we can sort of switch in well, and look at this. <laughs> okay, so once again we have the fire type in front of the grass type, and the grass type in front of the water type. Technically water and grass, so like the grass isn't going to do too much. But, um, we just sort of have it sort of perfectly laid out again. Um, but yeah, as I said, I'm not going to be actively avoiding trainers, it's just... Sometimes you just kind of want to continue on with the story, rather than sort of battling everyone. And it's alright to do that. I mean, everyone plays Pokemon different ways. Um, me, you know, if I find myself in a spot where I'm just like, okay, yeah, I need some extra levels, I should probably battle those people when I had the chance. It doesn't matter. You know, I'll soon get over it. Yeah, because like that guy, I could have snuck around the back of him, or I could have just waited for him to turn around again. How does the magnet train work? Well, if you go into the magnet train, they actually tell you this. <laughs> um, super nerd Sam, just like my buddy. <laughs> okay, let's just hit him with a dark pulse. Probably not going to do too much, but uh, uh, hopefully a follow-up will do well enough. Level 44, actually, that's a pretty good level. Oh, and he's down and out. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, actually, in hindsight, I could have um, actually come along this route when I was training up Hugh and done all the trainers off screen um, so that, like, Hugh got some extra levels rather than rebattling all those trainers over and over and over again. Um, oh, that oh, flung its toxic orb. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> it's not very effective, but it did poison me, so that's fantastic. I wonder if. Oh, wait, does that automatically make me grab a toxic orb? Because that's not cool, dude. That's not cool. Not cool, Sam. I don't like you anymore. And of course I didn't KO you. At least that, uh, that does a little bit of health. We claim a bit of health there. Alrighty, so what, what am I going to use now? Probably just Crunch, I guess. I want to save Dark Pulse. I want to save my Fire um, Flamethrower. My Fire Flamethrower. My Fire Thrower. How about that? My Flame Fang. Alright, and then I'll take some Poison Damage, which... I only got one back from the show well. Okay, Super Nerd Sam is down and out. Wish I had the chance to see the magnet train. Dude, you're like standing next to the city which has the magnet train in it. Just walk a bit. You'll get there. Stop moaning. Seriously. Uh, um, no, where's the antidote? There we go. And heal. Thank you very much. Alright, so what else have we got to face? Can we sneak up here? No, we can't. Never mind. I suppose there's a shortcut to go down, but it doesn't matter. TM41 Torment uh, prevents the opponents from using items, I think? No, it doesn't. It prevents them from using the same move uh, twice in a row. Embargo is uh, the one that prevents uh, items being used. Oh, ha, 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 ha. All right, so what do you got here? Two Pokemon. First of all, it's a coughing. Another poison type. I may have to send out Ness. Okay, let's go for the Dark Pulse and see how much damage it does. Hopefully a lot, because I can't be bothered to take too long, like, battling these coffins. <laughs> Fortunately, these trainers can't be skipped, but it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, Shell Bell is going to heal us. Fantastic. Ten hit points. Good. Good drop, you. Okay, and another coughing. So yeah, as I said, I am going to actually switch into Ness for this one, and use a Psychic. Psychic Crunch. Oh, I'm surprised I haven't yawned in, like, the past six or seven episodes, actually. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Right. So that's gonna do plenty of damage. Very good job, Ness. Very good job. You fainted. Yes, you did. Okay. Zeke. Yikes. Sorry. You should be sorry. Now, what's the next guy gonna say, huh? I wonder. I wonder, huh? He says, uh, the cop shut down our underground path. That really annoys me. Well, you shouldn't have been holding battles down there. So, just saying. Biker Harris has a Flareon. Okay, cool. Well, not cool, because it's fire. But uh, I guess a couple of Dark Pulses may take care of this. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a couple. I was hoping it would only be one, but hey, whatever. Again, it's, it's healing 10 damage. It's kind of interesting how it... Oh, critical hit. Not very effective. That's okay. Quick attack. Ooh, snap. And doesn't do enough, it's fine. We can probably survive this this last trainer, uh, depending on what his team has. Hopefully it's something which uh, Hugh can take care of on his own. If not, we'll just switch off to the first one, or if Hugh faints. 
uh, but kind of would like to get huge level 53. <laughs> I am going to guess he's like 8 experience away. No, 7. 7 experience away from level 53. 44. Well, that was miles away. But yeah, that's, that's kind of ridiculous how close he is. Alright, so last trainer here. What you got for us? We're the Kanto Pokemon Federation Trainer Group. We'll drive you under our wheels. That's not very nice. I'm just a kid with a Pokemon walking behind me. Um, that's not very nice at all. Four Pokemon. Okay, starting with a coughing. Dwayne, how are you doing, Dwayne? So wait, is Dwayne, Zeke, and... I can't remember the other guy. Dwayne and Zeke. The other guy is not important. He had the Flareon. Dwayne, Zeke, and Flareon. There you go. Okay. So, what you got for me now? I should level us up to level 53. I mean, I highly doubt we got less than 44 XP there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Got some more coughings and wheezings, then it's going to be Ness's time to shine. And it's Ness's time to shine. Alright, let's do this. Just mowing down everyone in our way. And let's see if we can actually one-hit them. I imagine so, because we've done it before. All it takes is a little bit of psychic power. And that's one down. Technically two. We'll call it one because that's Ness's current kill streak. <laughs> and one more coughing. Okay. What's the betting that his fourth Pokemon will be a wheezing? Oh, it's level 40 coughing. Dun dun dun. Okay, I'm still quite confident this will one shot. Yep. Double kill. Awesome job. Good job, Ness. Well done. KO. And a fourth coughing. Who would have funked it? Huh? <laughs> Level 41. Again, shouldn't be a problem for Ness. You just gotta use your psychic crunch. And that should be it. Triple kill. <laughs> and a thousand XP. Awesome. So we killed the three biking stooges. I don't know what to call them. They're idiots. Uh, I think they're all. Yeah, that's all the trainers. It's as torn as it's possible to read. It's all right, because we saw the other one on the other side. But yeah, you can't actually use the underground in this game, which kind of stinks. Um, well, I'm not sure why you'd want to use the underground. I, mean, I actually find myself using it quite a lot in uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green for hatching Pokemon, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm going to heal. I'll be right back. And now that we are at full health and back in Saffron City, we are going to immediately exit Saffron City to the north. Oh, hello you. I haven't seen you before. Our city was featured on a radio show. It's nice to hear praise for your city, but it's a bit embarrassing too. Why would you be embarrassed? It's weird. Embarrassed of the town you live in. Mind you, I'm embarrassed of the place I live in, but that's just because stereotypes. Not not a town, but just in general. The road is closed until the problem at the power plant is solved. Underground pass. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, there is an item or a house we can get up to over there. And actually, let's... let's. Oh, we're in Cerulean City. I didn't mean to go in here yet. Please no wild Pokemon. Thank you. Okay, so let's take a look in this house first. Because uh, this used to be a daycare center. Yee -yee -ya! I sense a sinister shadow hovering over you. Take this to ward it off, and she will give us a cleanse tag. Is she going to explain it? Uh, you are in mortal danger, but now you're protected. My grandma is into warding off what she believes to be your evil spirits. I'm so sorry that she startled you. Uh, basically, if you give the Pokemon at the front of your party the cleanse tag to hold, uh, it will slightly reduce the chance of you encountering wild Pokemon. Anyway, um, we have made it to Cerulean City. Um, I don't know why I healed there. So, tran uh, trendsetter of the bicycle boom, Cerulean Bike Main Shop. Uh, so, yeah, if we go in here, this is actually... I think we can go in here. This is where the bike shop guy in Goldenrod City originated from. A long time ago, this cool boy rode my bike around, and that started this entire bike boom. Then I decided to open up a branch in Goldenrod City, and they started selling like the wind. But no one comes into uh, to this shop anymore because of that. What I have left here is a bicycle pump. Should I start selling inflatable tubes? Not a bad idea. Cerulean City, you know, blue, sea, you know, I'm just saying. Sell the blue ones. Anyway, Cerulean City, we've made it. Uh, there's not much to do here, because if we go... Well, actually, can you actually go in the gym yet? Oh, you can go in the gym. Uh, but unfortunately, the gym leader isn't actually here. Um, and I'm not sure you can get round to it anyway. Okay, so, yeah, the gym leader and the trainers are not here, so... You know, you can't really do anything. Uh, but we'll do that uh, another time because that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching as per usual. I shall see you all in the next episode where we continue on with our quest. Look at this adorable fountain. And who's this? My Slowbro and I made an awesome con combination. Slowbro, show me your psychic. Slowbro psychic hit hard. Oh, well, that's not very nice, is it? 
Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.